What is up, guys? It's your boy, No Risk, No Premium, back with another episode of the Two Minute Drill. Well, today we got the sell that pretty much everybody was anticipating for yesterday, and it came overnight and it did not stop. Wolves of Wealth, we took the puts out the gate. Uh, Justin Banks called out the AMD puts, and then we waited for that 390. 390 came, dipped a little bit below though here, and then tried to reclaim it. Reclaimed the end of day, but closed just underneath. So trading level to level, what the hell does that mean for tomorrow? Well, that means there is a highly likely chance there is continuation to the downside. Now, tomorrow is OPEX, quad witching, literally whatever you want to call it. It is meant to literally fuck you up. So, oh, excuse me. So what should you do tomorrow? Well, if you don't like trading OPEX or quad witching specifically, just take the fucking day off. Go get a tea time. Go play some golf. Hang out with your family. Get get away from the screen. Tomorrow will more than likely try to catch everybody off sides. Okay. But depending where we open, where the future is open currently now, Globex opened down about a handle. Nothing crazy. You'll want to see, do we get back and open above 390? Okay, get back and open above 390. Could open up the gates to 393, then that 395, 96 we've been talking about. However, however, I would anticipate a lot of trapping and for us likely to have a fake out to the upside if we open above 390 for everybody to get long and then they likely take some continuation to the downside. Why do I think that? Well, we pretty much have been straddling this 20 MA right here, right? 3, 398 right now. Okay, we were above it for a while. Okay, we got below it, got back above it. Then we finally had the five cross over. See it right here. Five crossed over the 20. That is a first inclination of a possible reversal coming. Not to mention the mother of all trend lines held again. Look at this thing. Held again. Okay, that is a definite rejection right there. So unless we get back above 400 the bulls are in deep doo-doo, okay? So my plan for tomorrow is see where we open, okay? And then I'm going to wait for this data to come out right here. Comes out at 9, excuse me, uh, 9.45 a.m., 15 minutes into open. And if you get into a position early, I guarantee it will stop loss rage you or it will, it will go against you or it could go with you, but it is going to create some volatility. There will be some massive wicks up and down on it, okay? There will be a reaction. So just wait, chill and wait. Okay, it'll probably produce a fake move. Okay, so I will be looking for a possible rejection. Okay, of today's high. Okay, anywhere from 393 all the way up to 395 to likely get the put side. Okay, to take a put scalp. Now, you can long 390 again, but it's been broken. Okay, it has been broken and we closed below. So to me, I think we get continuation down to this 50 MA 385. And if we get froggy underneath there, it's going to come down to 380. You remember this gap right here? You guys see it over in the corner of the screen here. That is the close of two previous CPI prints ago. Okay. And this is the next candle. So there is a gap to fill on the day down to 380. I wouldn't put it past anybody on OPEX and quad witching to get down there. If they want to get really froggy, they would take it down to 374. Okay, tomorrow's plan simple. Do a whole lot of nothing. Don't FOMO and don't chase. Okay, don't FOMO and don't chase. If we hold 390, okay, or today's low was about 388, you could look to play possible bounce there, but I don't love it. I love 385 better to get long. Okay, I love 385 better to get long. I do like the 393 all the way up to 396 fade. Just have to play your levels. You have to be a trader. You have to be a reactor. We do have this uh, orange dotted line here as well as 392. If you look, 392 was where what? Today, when we bounce back up, that's where we got to right here, right? About, oh, you know, into 391, but we still failed it over here. In the beginning of the day, got below it, went back up to 392 where the 100-day moving averages, and then got below it and could not get back up. Tells me sellers were most definitely in control. Very small MOC number uh, on the buy side, 3 million or so. Nothing crazy. So that's the plan for tomorrow. One thing to always zoom out, guys, and take a peek here. How is this weekly chart playing out? Well, every time we've gotten the bear market, we have rejected the 50MA purple dotted line. Happened there and happened again right there. 
CO409, boom, huge reject on the double top. So how does this candle want to close? It's what you should be asking yourself. Okay, that's what you want to be asking yourself. So for tomorrow, guys, chill and do less. Only take a A plus trade setup. For me, that's going to be a short at the day's high, which is about three nine previous day's high, 395. Okay, that's also going to be where the 8 and 21 EMAs are starting to cross over at. Okay, and a long, I wouldn't want to really long this 388 anymore. I would probably wait to see if we get a bounce at 385. Okay, other than that, guys, wake up early, get your levels right. Don't get screwed over on the PMI that comes out 15 minutes into market open. And I'll see you guys bright and early. Peace.